All right, so I've gone tutorial through tutorial, and I have to say that it seems like a rite of passage. Every NNN maker makes their own version because it's a bit of a complicated topic. And obviously, you know, it shows your worth if you're actually able to connect WhatsApp. And I did it. And we're going to be going over this flow step by step, setting it up through Facebook and Meta in seven minutes. Let's go. We'll start by adding our WhatsApp trigger. But what's that business cloud on messages? And we want to create some new credentials from scratch. So we're going to need to get a client ID and a client secret. To get that, we need to go to Facebook. You specifically need to go to business.facebook.com. And obviously, you need to have an account. I'll go with my account that I have already in place. I have to log in. And from there, you may be redirected to the home page of a most popular, most used business portfolio that you have. I'm assuming you have like at least one of them. In this case, it takes me to a blank business portfolio that I have, and I'm going to go to the settings because that's where you need to go in order for you to create an app, which is what we're going to do. So I already have an app. We're going to create one from scratch and just click on add and you're going to create a new app ID and we're going to create our app. I'm going to name it next. You want to go all the way down and choose other My business account. And uh, that's just a summary of what we're doing. And we're going to create the app. It has been created, but now we need to set up WhatsApp. It's all from the developers.facebook.com. Now we've been redirected from businessfacebook.com to developersfacebook.com. And uh, we have one more step. We're going to be going into our app settings. Basic. Here up top, you're going to see an app ID and app secret. These are the credentials. We've made it. Top, I'm really happy, you know, working with Facebook. It's just um, more challenging than like creating anything I've ever done. And um, it may sound like I'm dramatic, but honestly. Okay, so we made it. The connection is successful. Okay, now that I'm more relaxed, I can let my hair down. And we're going to go ahead and rename this to chat received. Name this to chat received. And we're going to add an AI agent. Okay, so what's going to happen is... We're going to have a prompt user message come from the chat. We're going to define that in a minute. Right now, we can put a default high. And we can also add a system message prompt. And we added a system message prompt saying you're a helpful language learning assistant for English Spanish learner. Now, for this to work, though, you need a brain. And that's going to happen through Open Router. Open Router is my recommended choice for credentials. The reason being is that you can switch to any model you want and we'll create the credentials in less than a minute. So you go to openrob.ai and you create an account. In my case, I do have an account and I'm just going to go to keys. That's all it takes. When you create an API key and you create a key, I call it an end language learning. Once I create it, it shows up. You don't share this with anyone as always. And you go back, paste it, save. So connection is successful. And we're going to go ahead and add some memory in order for us to, in the future, be able to refer to the conversation that's happening through WhatsApp. Okay, so AI agent has been added. Sadly, I have to tense up and put my hair back up because we're going to be adding a WhatsApp send message node. And here it is. So uh, we want to create some new credentials. So now we need to get an X token, a business account ID. And we're going to go back and actually... We're going to go where we were previously at developersfacebook.com and we're going to go to API set. Now over here, what you're seeing is step one, where it says select the phone numbers. We don't have one, so we're going to go to get a new test number. Okay. This is one that Facebook provides for your meta. So meta provided me with a test number that I can use. And as you can see, you know, you can send messages for free for 90 days. But then if you want, you know, you can always use your own phone number for commercial purposes. So the next thing to do is to add a phone number that we're going to be receiving these messages, right? In my case, I'm going to have my personal phone number and you should be getting a verification code from WhatsApp Business, which you can see over here that I received. And this one-time password, you go back and you add, and you're almost there. The token is what we need to generate and it's going to have a new window come up it's going to show you the previous accounts you may have had now we want to opt into all current and future whatsapp accounts with this particular app that we've created and everything seems to have gone as planned so we're just going to go ahead and copy this access token go back paste it 
and do the same thing with a business account ID, which is over here. Paste it. Save it. No successful because now I detected the test number. The recipient's phone number actually is going to come from the WhatsApp trigger that we're going to be interacting with. So just a moment. And then the text body, for now, we can just add a sample text body over here. Okay, so let's temporarily add my phone number. Now we're going to go ahead and test the workflow. All we do is we click test workflow. It's expecting a message. So we're going to just send and we should see this node light up. Great. So you can see the message came up, but there's an error here. The error says is an error in the sub node simple memory. That's because over here we didn't specify a key, right? And this key key is code for like, what's, what should we call what should we call this memory that we'll keep referring to? So I'm going to use the phone number ID. Essentially, this is just a uh, unique code that's you know related to the person sending the WhatsApp message. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and test the workflow once more. It's good. Let's see. Oh, and you can see here it came up. And there is also a success message that I got. So everything works perfectly. We just now need to make some modifications to actually get this uh, experience of a language learning partner. So a few more things to do to make sure that we're configured properly. We're going to test the workflow and we're going to send a message and then we're going to see the response. So hello. And it will perfectly, but we need to do a few things. First of all, remember earlier, our prompt was hard coded to say hi. Instead, what we want is to get the body from the trigger and pass it on. Okay, so that's one. Save it. So now what I recommend doing is you go up the top right and activate this workflow. And now you're able to just text without having to just press test workflow every time manually. And we're going to go ahead and say, uh, so how do we say how are we doing in Spanish? Let's see what it says. Spanish say, como nos va? Nice. Great. And let's see if it remembers my name. It's going to say, okay, so that I'm pleased to meet you. And I'm going to ask, okay, uh, I'm going to ask, okay, what is my name in Spanish? Great. So now everything works. I will be doing victory laps now that I've conquered WhatsApp. You can do it too.